What's up, you guys? I am currently in Dallas. I'm actually downtown um, at my friend Jessica's apartment she just got. And I'm waiting for her to uh, finish packing and then she, I'm picking her up and we're gonna head out. But I kind of wanted to show you guys something, but I don't know where they are. I have the cats with me. Um, I officially have them with me full time. Thank you to my one of my best friends, Bridget, for cat sitting for me for the last, oh, there's my nuggets, <laughs> for the last uh, couple or a few weeks, I guess. Um, Halo is underneath the driver's seat and BB just came out. She was, I guess, underneath my, my guitar case. Um, they don't, they aren't totally used to like driving in vehicles, so they're still getting used to it. They usually just kind of hide and stuff right now. And that's with any new environment that they go into. Um, I have the litter box right here between the two front seats, but I think I might buy a new litter box, one that's smaller and I need a new one anyways. This one is a few years old and it's just really, really big and bulky and takes up a lot of room. So I think I'm going to get a smaller one, but, um, the cats are so far doing great. I definitely need to get, um, a, like the insect nets for the doors. I saw, I'm in a van life group on Facebook and I saw a few people who have cats and what they do is they get a harness, a body harness, and they, it's not even a leash, it's like a more of like a rope, but they hook it onto something that's inside the van so when they open the doors, the cats can go and roam, but they can't go too far and you know exactly where they are because they are technically like on a leash. So that's something that I might consider um, doing for them right now. I'm still kind of filling it out, seeing how they like it, letting them get used to the environment. But so far they're doing all right. Um, that's why one of the big reasons I really wanted to get the cabinet doors up is so that they couldn't get inside of the cabinets. Um, like right here, they can get inside here, but there's not really anything in there besides my dirty laundry. So. I'm not too worried about that, but they can't get into like the pantry or anything like that. So, um, <laughs> she's, she's exploring, but they're doing great. And I'm really excited to have them with me. I missed them so, 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 so much. They're my babies and I'm just ecstatic that they're going to be traveling with me, um, from this point on. So super excited. Hopefully this trip goes better than planned. Like I always say, I don't have any expectations because when you have expectations, nothing ever really turns out how you want it to. So I'm just kind of going with the flow, taking it day by day. Jessica's a planner and it's kind of stressing her out, but I just try to take it easy and enjoy living in the moment and um, really just enjoying this trip. It's a very special trip and you guys will have already seen that or we'll get to see why that is so. So hopefully Jessica is ready. I'm gonna go see and crack the whip because we need to hit the road. All right, we are, I think, two hours into the drive. We just stopped at Walmart, loaded up on a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll show you guys once we get there. We are currently eating lunch, gotta get some gas, and then we will be on our way to Enchanted Rock. We made it, but um, Jessica booked the reservation, so I'm gonna blame it on her. We didn't know that you couldn't like drive up to the campsite, but here's our camping, here's our tent pad. We've got a grill table, but we can't drive up to it. <laughs> so I think both nights is like that. Good thing though, I do have a tent, so we are gonna do tent camping and the cats are gonna stay in the van. Um, it feels really good outside. It's not gonna get too hot in there. But I guess we gotta go get everything and set up. I gotta pee really bad. So 
I guess we're gonna hop to it. All right, you see something? What is that? I don't know if anything's moving in the right. Yeah? <laughs> Well, it appears we have a friend. Look, you can hang it up there. <laughs> you want me to? Should she, <laughs> she hang the light? Hey, dude. Hey, That's what it's for. See? Like that? Sure. Or no. <laughs> so we for bought everything growing. set up. I think we're gonna try to go hike, not a trail, but just like kind of go walk around a little bit and kind of see what we're working with here. Then we'll probably, yeah, that's a cool one over there. And the trees. Oh, is, is that a campsite? Yeah. 17, we should see if it's available tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow, I think we're gonna go to the office and switch our campsite that we have for tomorrow. We got two different ones, but we want one with a covered spot. Maybe, I don't know. We're gonna go check them out, but um, I think we're gonna get up and go for a hike tomorrow and then we're gonna make some some hot doggies later. So let's go uh, pour, us, pour up some wine and hit the trail. It's working on my monster. <laughs> yeah, I kinda wanna change his shirt, but it'll probably get hot. And this, yeah, I can spill it. It's like sweaty. I wish I would've got that shirt that you're wearing. But I didn't know who he was, so I didn't feel like I had the right. Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Is there going to be audio on this? Mm-hmm. Oh, great. <laughs> and they love me. Oh, they love me too. I could do without all the bugs. I invested in a cooler. It's a... Ozark Trail one. It's a pretty Tiffany blue. It's the only color they had left and I'm fine with that. But you guys saw the cooler that I was using with Jason and it only held ice for like maybe a day, day and a half at most. So we'll see how long this one holds ice for. It was a little bit of money. I think it was a good price honestly. But it was an investment that I needed. So yeah I think you'll be glad that you did it in the long run. I do too. Coolers are expensive though you know. I feel like they're always kind of expensive. Oh man, I gotta go get my bottle opener. That's why I got twist off. Oh, Jessica thinks she's cool because she got the twist off. Do you have one with you? Yeah. I told you I live in the van. I got everything in there. Do you, have you ever started a fire? 
Yes. Have you ever started a fire? No, I usually have a dude do it. <laughs> I'll be your dude today, Jessica. And you usually have Jason with you, so... I don't always have Jason with me. When have you not had Jason with you? The Where last you seven months. <laughs> You've been with him. I know. Okay, y'all basically, okay, y'all basically live like y'all been doing everything together. How do you think I started all those fires when I did cooked out at Bridget's? Huh? You think Bobby did that? Because <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> I don't know if Bobby could start a fire. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if Milton could either. I think Milton could maybe. Is that said that I believe in Milton? I more? believe in Milton more than I believe in Bobby. morning you guys I think the lens is fogging up <laughs> your glasses <laughs> my glasses my glasses oh <laughs> ton of bricks at the ground good morning you guys it's really cold <laughs> I told Jessica it was gonna get cold and she didn't believe me and I was like if I get cold and I'm, we don't have like a air mattress or anything we're just sleeping on the ground I was like, if I wake you up to go get in the van, I'm just saying I might go get in the van. <laughs> and she was like, no, you're not going to wake me up. And That's because I'm impossible to wake up, though. <laughs> she said she tried to wake me up last night to go get in the van, and I didn't wake up. Because it was freezing. <laughs> um, we are not sleeping on anything. We're sleeping on the cold, hard ground. And... Let's just say it's not very comfortable. <laughs> the bottom is not, the ground's not bothering me as, but I mean, I realize I'm like, dang, it's kind of, I, I feel the bones where they are. <laughs> <laughs> I've slept on much worse. Um, I've literally slept on rocks. Um, and so I knew it was going to be bad and I already prepared myself. But it got pretty chilly, I'm surprised. Yeah, it was fall overnight. I mean, it usually gets cold in the van, but not this cold. I'm obviously not outside, so it doesn't get this cold, but it's pretty chilly. Um, so we're going to go to the office today to see if we can get a campsite that we can just drive up to so that we can just sleep in the van. Uh, that is not the case here at these campsites. We had to go to the van about 300 times yesterday. <laughs> 
got our steps in for sure uh-huh and uh yeah i don't want to have to do that again so hopefully we can get a campsite that we can drive up to but i guess we'll see <laughs> Let's go make some coffee fizz. Mm. Need you to move. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're gonna come. Huh? 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 Not at Turkey legs. You stay warm all night. Come out here. No, bro, you can't come outside. You gonna stay inside. Baby is extra curious. Oh, look at the little turpies. Eat you some breakfast. Thank you. 